Hey, this is Eddie Montague. I'm golfing for the Junior Giants out here at Harding Park. Beautiful day. I grew up here in Daly City, so I know about this fog. It's not so bad. Anyway, yeah. Hi, this is Chris Spire, and I'm playing golf for the Junior Giants. Welcome back to another episode of the Jim on Bass Show. We're back at the Willie McCovey Golf Classic, the 30th one with the great Ed Monahue. And Ed, it's good to see you. Oh, it's great to be here. I started at the Olympic Club when Willie first started this. He invited me. I don't know why he invited an umpire, but uh, so just so people could boo me. But, uh, but it's been great. And uh, yeah, for Willie, anything, you know, he was the best. Well, I noticed earlier you had like a jacket on with the MLB logo. You had the umpire look. Now you got the Willie McCovey logo yeah, McCovey on. McCovey look now. Because I thought I would be able to hit the ball like Willie, but no, that's not working. Well, help me out, Willie. So, but it's been great. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I do got to ask, you know, when people have had a relationship with Willie McCovey, I know you probably have a lot of them, but is there any special memories that come to mind when you think back on them? <clears throat> well, growing up as a kid, uh, my dad used to take us, you know, my dad scouted for 40 years with the Giants, take us in the clubhouse. And my younger brother, Mike, uh, Willie McCovey was his favorite player because he, we'd go in the dressing room and Willie would put him up on his shoulders and carry him around the locker room. But uh, when I broke in in 70, my first game was in 74, and Willie was playing for San Diego then. And, you know, when I was a kid, I watched him play, and now I'm calling balls and strikes on him. And that turkey over there, hey, you're out of here. <laughs> we got Chris Fire yelling at us over there. Anyway, I had Chris as a player, and then when he coached with Cincinnati, and yeah. But uh, Willie was great, and uh, like I said, my first game, 1974, and there's Willie McCovey up the bat, and it was a thrill, yeah. And then getting to know Willie over the years in the golf tournaments and stuff, uh, he was a special person. And matter of fact, right before he passed away, uh, we were out here in the tournament. It had to be about two months before he passed away, and I was playing with Marty Lurie's son, Evan, and Marty was riding around in the cart, and Willie followed us for the first eight holes in his uh, wheelchair. And Estella, his beautiful wife, was saying, Baby, are you okay? You okay? Willie was fine. He's a tough tough cookie anyway that's it here this is a guy you interview right here spire the great chris spire the great chris spire i remember when he broke in because he lived across the bay and he had a you almost had to walk on as a in spring training didn't you it was a call because i they told me to uh they sent me a triple a contract and i had been working out with the giants after my and double a double a season so I get a triple-A contract after my first year in double-A, and uh, I had been working out with the Giants after our season, you know, after the double-A season, because it was getting ready to go to uh, what we had instructional league to stay in shape. So I got a chance to see the shortstops. So I get this triple-A contract, and the manager at the time was Charlie Fox. And so I called him, and I said, Charlie, Chris Spire, um, just invite me to camp as a non-roster player, and I'll be your opening day shortstop. What an idiot. What a brash little cocky son of a gun. But, you know, again, I was, I was lucky and uh, right place at the right time. So, anyway. Well, speaking of the right place at the right time, you're from Alameda, right? You're a Bay Area guy. So you lived the dream. I did. You know, I did. It was so funny when we were growing up. You know, they used to have the Giant and Dodger games on Channel 2. Mm. And so my, my older brother, who, you know, if he w said black, I would say white. So it was all, and he was, he was a Giant fan. So I became a Dodger fan when I was about eight years old, you know, just to spite him. But again, yeah, the dream did come true. What a blessing I was able to play in front of family and friends and everybody. Yeah. And you're on the Giants Wall of Fame, so that's not a bad deal. Not a bad deal, yeah. Again, very blessed and uh, realized that, uh, you know, it was because of the, the people that I came up with in that Giant organization, you know, that I got a chance to play with. It kind of showed me how to play this game and what to do with, you know, Mays, McCovey, Marichal, you know, Bobby Bonds, uh, Juan Marichal, Gaylord Perry, and the list goes on and on. I'm going, oh my God, what am I doing here? <laughs> I am asking people who, you know, this is the Willie McCovey Golf Classic, mm -hmm. so you played with Willie. Do you have any special memory or anything that comes to mind? Yeah, it's funny. I, I saw you were just interviewing uh, Ed, you know, if, and uh, I remember a McCovey story. So Willie came up to me, and, you know, he always had, you know, his legs were always bothering. He had tough knees, and he came up to me and he said, hey, 
you got to give me a little time to get there on a ground ball to you. My legs are sore and it takes me a while to get there. So I'm making the play and I have to take one more hop to let him get there. And every play is a bang, bang play at first base. And the first base coach, and I don't remember who it is, uh, I got a base hitter, so I must on first base. He comes up to me and goes, hey, you got to get rid of the ball a little bit quicker. You're making all these doggone calls close. And I said, uh, you know the big guy at first base? I think you need to tell him to get there a little bit quicker. And he goes, oh, okay, you're all right. <laughs> yeah. Well, Chris, thanks for coming on. It was good to meet you. All right. Appreciate it. Thank awesome. you.